bet a good amount of funny money here because we don't bet that that man Rashawn Slater is going to hear his name called early maybe as high as number five if Cincinnati stays there and maybe likes Rashawn Slater as its number one tackle over Panay Sewell right now Bucky has Sewell from Oregon as number one Slater here from Northwestern who is working out today at the Northwestern Pro Day in Evanston is number two. Hi there, Bucky Brooks. Some people, though, have Slater ahead of Sewell. It depends on which one you like. Um, some of Slater's numbers today checked in at six foot four. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Draw a blank here. Look, looking at things on my screen. Bucky, <laughs> tell me about Rashawn Slater. My computer died. Look, here's what you like about Rashawn Slater. And it, it doesn't even matter what he did at the pro day. You like about Rashawn, what you like about Rashawn Slater, he's a football player, meaning he is talented, he is versatile, he's a technician, he does a great job of working in sync with his feet and hands. He is a guy that can play any position along the line. And so it's hard to find guys who are like that, who are also very, very polished in how they go about it. If you want to know what Rashawn Slater could be in the National Football League, Position. Stonewall Chase Young anchored, held his own, also is able to move bodies at the line of scrimmage as a run blocker. He's a very talented player, and the conversation and competition between Slater and Pene Sewell is real. He could be the first tackle to go off the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he hears his name called first. All right, my computer tackle. isn't frozen anymore. We got 6'4", 304, 33 in the bench and 33-inch arms. Had Pat Fitzgerald on a couple of weeks ago, Bucky. Asked him where he thinks Slater's best position is because some people think he plays inside. You, you definitely sold on him at left tackle. I'm, I'm sold on him anywhere he plays. I think he has the ability to, to be a, a, a standout at either position. He's played right tackle, he's played left tackle, he can kick inside and guard, he probably can snap and also play center. So he is a starter. And I think what is, it, it comes down to where do you need to play him? Because I think he's so versatile and dynamic that he can do it all. All right, we talked yesterday, Bucky, about you know the, the other headliner here at Northwestern Pro Day today. That's Greg Newsom, the corner. And you said, well, geez, if he runs sub 4-4 four, four at six foot one, woo, look out day one. <laughs> Let's roll the tape here on the 40 because, Bucky, there was an early report that he was maybe a 4-3-1. We now have 4-3-8, 4-3-9 for Greg Newsom at corner, Bucky. I mean, like, I mean, <laughs> chalk it up. He's going to be in that conversation in day one because ultimately what you're looking for, Andrew, at corner, can they hit, run, and cover? He can hit because he has great instincts and awareness, high IQ, comes down and makes tackles on the perimeter. He can run. You just talked about the sub four, four times that he put up at his pro day. Can he cover? He absolutely can cover man zone. They do a lot of different things at Northwestern, and he excels at all of them. And then when you add the size, over six feet, 200 pounds, hard to find big corners that actually have elite skills. He is going to be in the conversation as a day one player. His pro day just submitted his status in that, that conversation. Okay, so let's get the headline here. The headline is, Bucky, you think Greg Newsom is now a night number one pick after this? Oh, yeah, I think the conversation is real. I think he does sneak into the bottom of the first round. He does a lot of great things on tape, but now you see the athleticism, the explosive athlete that he is. Yes, I think he is a first-round talent for sure. With Farley and Sertan, a lot of people think maybe going in the top ten is the top.